So in this section, we're going to talk about getting clearance after your vasectomy. In other words, knowing when you can trust it for contraceptive purposes. And it does take quite some time from the time of having a vasectomy until the time you're no longer fertile. At SNP vasectomy clinics, we tend to advise that you wait about three months after your vasectomy before testing to see if it's worked. It's also useful to make sure you've ejaculated at least 15 times during those three months to help clear out the system. It does surprise people it takes this long, but there are a lot of sperm upstream from where we make the vasectomy that have to get out. And obviously we need to get down to a zero number, okay? So we want to keep clearing the system until we're down to nothing. There are a couple of ways that we can test that it's worked. One option is to use the laboratory. The other option is to use one of our home test or self test kits. Both of these options are as effective as each other. So one is not better than the other but they have some upsides and downsides for each one, which I'm gonna share with you now just to help you make the decision which one you want to use. For the laboratory, you'll produce your semen sample into a pot that we've given you and take it to the nearest laboratory to you that does that testing. Now we'll advise you, depending on where you are in the country, which laboratory to use. It isn't every single laboratory that you might go for a blood test in. There are only specific places that do it. So we'll let you know where that is. You produce your sample at home and you have to get it to the laboratory within an hour of producing it. And the laboratories are generally open during office hours or extended office hours. It's not available all the time. Once you've dropped your sample off at the laboratory, they will analyze it and they will make a report and they will send the report to us. Now that process normally takes a couple of days. And as soon as we get the result, we'll contact you directly and say, yes, you're clear, you can trust your vasectomy or no, it's not clear yet and we'll tell you what to do next. Your other option is to use the home test kit known as sperm check vasectomy. Now at SNP vasectomy clinics, we import these from the manufacturers in the United States um, and we are the only clinic in New Zealand that has this option available to you. As I said, it is just as effective as using the laboratory, but it uses a very different technology. It uses a little rat test kind of thing where you drop the semen onto this cartridge that looks a bit like a pregnancy test or a COVID rat test and you look to see if there's two lines or one line and depending on that you'll know whether your vasectomy has worked or not. Um, so the benefit of using the sperm check vasectomy is you can do it anytime, day or night, you get the result within a few minutes, you don't have to drive it anywhere or anything along those lines. Um, the downsides of sperm check vasectomy is it is an extra cost. With the laboratory, it's are free. Um, there is an extra cost for sperm check vasectomy, which will be on our website. Um, and so you want to make sure that that cost is worth it for you. And in addition, with the sperm check vasectomy, you're reading the result yourself. Now, it's very simple to read, and you give yourself your own clearance. You don't need to send it in to us for us to say, yes, it's fine or it's not. You just read it yourself, and you know you're good to go. So those are the two options for clearance, but until you've become clear, you do not trust your vasectomy. Now, in the rare event that your vasectomy has not worked and your tests are not clear, we'll talk you through the process. Sometimes it's just gonna take a bit longer. Some guys take longer than the average three months. Um, and as I would have said in one of our other videos, about one in every 300 guys who has a vasectomy, it just doesn't work because it's healed itself back together again before you've done that testing. Now, if it turns out that's happened to you, it's a bit of an annoyance, but we would not charge you to do the vasectomy again, okay? You're paying us for the outcome, not just the procedure. So should you ever need a repeat procedure, it will be offered to you free of charge. So I hope that helps you make a decision which one you want to use. You can decide prior to your vasectomy and then tell the doctor on the day which one you want. Or if you're not entirely sure at the time of your vasectomy, we'll give you all the stuff for the laboratory. And should you change your mind or decide at a later date you want to do the home testing, you can just jump onto our website, snip.co.nz, and there's an option on there to order a test kit to be posted out to you. So that's an option you can make a decision for later. So, thank you very much for watching all of this video. Hopefully it's told you everything you need to know about vasectomies. Um, the final thing I'm gonna to say to you is 
Most guys are a little bit nervous, a little bit worried about their vasectomy, and almost everyone that goes through it, at the end of it says, I have no idea what I was worried about. That was so much better than I was expecting, okay? So try not to worry, it's straightforward. We do this all the time. We're called SNP vasectomy clinics because we do vasectomies. We don't do anything else. We just do vasectomy after vasectomy and we make sure we're really good at doing that. So you're in really good hands. Don't worry and we look forward to seeing you in clinic.